So what up, SOS family? I'm gonna do a little venting right now. So I totally, absolutely, 100% pissed away my July. This had to be one of the worst, if not the worst, comeback to YouTube that any YouTuber has made. Now, I would have to say that the biggest reason as to why I haven't been as consistent as I want to be, been as active as I want to be, is because of the lack of self-discipline. I honestly still feel like I'm still stuck in that rut that I put myself in for like the past 10 months. And because of that, I just haven't been able to get up on time and go to sleep on time. Or you know what, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. I have been able to go to sleep on time and get up on time, but I just wouldn't because I was just, I don't know, lazy. I was just not more, like, I just did not have the discipline to do so, even though I had the ability to do so. The reason why I bring up sleep is because if I do not wake up early enough before my, my actual work day, then I will not have enough time to even make a video to get a workout in, which I've missed quite a few of uh, in July. And I just wouldn't be able to do anything that will progress me on YouTube. You know, when I first started YouTube, I absolutely did not care about what anybody else was doing what anybody else was thinking. I was in bliss when I started YouTube. When I, when I had like, I honestly would probably say my most fun times on YouTube was pro, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. That's crazy when I think about it. My most fun times on YouTube was when I had no subscribers. Like really, it was the most fun time for me because I just didn't have, I didn't have any pressure to make a certain type of video. And when I say that, I don't mean pressure from you guys. I just mean pressure from the number of subscribers. So in other words, uh, me getting more subscribers started making me think, oh, I can't upload videos that I like to upload anymore. I have to make sure I upload this certain type of video at this time or else I'm gonna lose uh, the subscribers. Oh, if I upload Cal Stanks videos, then all my powerlifting subscribers are gonna go away. If I upload bodybuilding videos, then my, all my Cal Stanks subscribers are gonna go away. And I was straying away from the purpose of why I even did YouTube, which was to inspire y'all and to help y'all. Another thing that's so stupid is is after coming back to YouTube for from this like eight nine month hiatus the Cal Sense community has grown people who've started along with me in the fitness community in general whether it's Cal Sense bodybuilding people who've started their channels along with me like in the same year so I started in 2014 I see them just they are successful now they have reached places that I was dreaming of reaching and I was actually one of the guys who would have been there had I continued. So now that I look, now that I'm looking back on things, every time I'm watching videos from people who are successful and are making videos, I'm like, yo, I had that idea too. Why didn't I make that video? I'm just like beating myself up every day. Like, yo, now I guess I can't make the video anymore because this person did it already. Or I can't make the video anymore because I guess people don't find me as credible in calisthenics, uh, which again, makes no sense because y'all watched me when I would say I was the least credible, which was when I was an absolute beginner, right? And I just keep having these negative thoughts about myself like, oh, they won't watch, oh, it's already been made, or it's already been done, so there's no point in doing it. So then I, 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 I have my book that I write down ideals, right? And I wrote down 10 ideals when I started uh, YouTube. So I had like, 10 ideals, but within those 10 ideals were like probably a good 15 to 20 videos. And I only made like four or five of them. And it's just so crazy how, it's so crazy how I wrote down ideas. And within the first four ideas was a video that already now accumulated over 8,000 views since I uploaded it. And that's me coming back to YouTube. Right? And I'm like, wow, like I'm writing down these ideas and I don't even know which idea may have that jackpot you know, within them. But I keep overthinking to the point where I just don't execute. I just keep watching and studying and trying to learn stuff instead of just doing. And I just feel like, you know, again, a big, a big reason as to why I haven't been doing much is because I've been crippling myself with my thoughts and I just haven't been, I guess, what's the word, confident and confident in myself to produce content for you guys that will be of value. I just keep feeling like I devalued myself since being away, missing these workouts, not getting to where, where I feel like I should have been. And I just, 
I just really feel like I let so many people down. I let all of you guys down, and I'm even letting myself down. But honestly, yo, this August came. I'm motivated. I'm disciplining myself to get back on track. And I'm just going to upload what I want to upload. Stay true to my calisthenic stuff. I am bodybuilding right now. I'm still bodybuilding. Uh, I gained about six, seven pounds or whatever. I don't know. Like, I don't really see much of a difference yet. But again, I'm just going to keep gaining weight to see how things go. But I'm not recording the bodybuilding because I just don't want to put that on my channel right now. I want to focus on the calisthenics, focus on getting better at the rings, which I also have been slacking on, and focus on just helping you guys achieve your goals also. So I read Kevin, Kevin Hart's book this month or last month. And honestly, when I say this was like one of the most inspirational books I've ever read, it really was. And there's a chapter in the book where he was pretty much stuck in a rut and he was just like, he was just not disciplined anymore. He was just going to the club drinking. He was broke in, in a lot of debt. And he just had a moment where he's like, you know what? Let me just play at any comedy club. I don't care if I'm getting five bucks, 10 bucks. I don't care. Just book me for every comedy club. Shitty, good. I don't really care. Just book me. I just want to get out there and do. And again, the reason why I'm saying that is because when I think of getting views on my video, I'm like, yo, what am I making this video for? For views or because I really want to help people? And it's, as the higher you go up, the harder it is to, to not think about views because when you have when you have like zero subscribers, you're not really thinking about views. You know you don't really get views. When you have 10,000 subscribers, you're always wondering, hmm, will I get 1,000 views? Will I get 2,000 views? Now I just, I'm just gonna stop caring. And I just want to do. I don't care if, I, if I'm getting five bucks, five views, you know, a hundred bucks, a hundred views. I don't care. I just want to upload and again, help you guys. So again, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to go back to the old school strength over size primary calisthenics workout videos, uh, motivational motivational videos, but it wasn't motivational to the point where, it was more so motivational when you guys would ask me a question and I would answer. I won't just make those motivational videos that like, you know, Brandon Carter makes or something. Like those are those are those different type of motivational videos. That's not what I do. So yo, you guys ask me questions. Let's talk in the, in the comments and let's try to build this channel back up. And yo, I just can't wait to see where this goes. I just hope no, not, I'm not even saying I hope. I will, I will stay consistent this time in my workouts, in my videos, and I'm just, I'm just gonna get out there and do. I'm gonna get out there and do, man. So <sighs> that is it right now. I'm out of here. Stay blessed. Done.